hello welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make this interesting pattern uh you can use seed beads or you can use miyuki beads like this pink one i've used miyuki beads and um yeah you can use any color any color of beads that you'd like uh, but today we are going to use the blue to demonstrate it's a very complicated pattern so please uh do as i do and you need a light blue seed beads, navy blue seed beads, white seed beads, and the silver, silver seed beads. I'll call it silver, but it's a glass, silver glass beads. So now for us, we have to start by picking four beads, four white beads. Pick four white beads. Pull. Pull them towards the end of the thread, but you leave a tail of about five inches. Yeah, then you insert the needle through the first two beads as shown. Please do as I'm showing. Okay, then back through the last two beads. And back through the first two beads. Yeah, make sure it's tight and finally back through the last two beads so now the beginning of our work our work is uh, secure and tight now we can continue working on the ladder stitch so pick one black seed bead followed by a white seed bead so one black seed bead and one white seed bead then you pass the needle through the last two white beads and then back through the two beads that you just picked so make sure your work is tight okay pick one black seed bead followed by one silver seed bead then you pass the needle through the last two beads that you picked. And back through the two beads that you've just picked. Okay, now pick two silver beads. Then you pass the needle through the last two beads. And back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick two silver beads. Then you pass the needle through the last two beads and back through the two beads that you just picked now pick one black bead followed by one silver bead one black bead followed by one silver bead. Then you pass the needle through the last two beads that you picked and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick one black bead followed by one navy blue bead. Then you pass the needle through the last two beads and back through the two beads that you just picked. Yeah, then you pick 
two navy blue beads. And you pass the needle through the last two beads and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick two navy blue beads. And you pass the needle through the last two beads. And back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick two navy blue beads. And you pass the needle through the last two beads and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick one navy blue bead followed by, a, by one black bead. And you pass the needle through the last two beads. And back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick one light blue followed by one black bead. One light blue bead followed by one black bead and you pass the needle through the last two beads and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick two light blue beads Then you pass the needle through the last two beads and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick two light blue beads And you pass the needle through the last two beads and back through the two beads that you just picked. So now we've come to the end of the row. So this is our base row. Uh, we've done a technique called a ladder stitch. Now you turn your work to begin the, the second row. Turn your work. So for the second row, you're going to pick one light blue bead, followed by one black bead, followed by one navy blue bead, then followed by one black bead. So a total of four beads. One navy blue, one light blue, sorry, followed by one black bead, followed by one navy blue bead, and followed by one black bead. So four beads. Yeah, so four beads. And you pass the needle through the second loop of stitch under the thread of the second loop. Skip the first loop. Yeah, then back through the last two beads. Make sure your work is tight and back through the first two beads. And finally, back through the last two beads.
So pick two navy blue beads. And you pass the needle through the next loop of stitch. And back through the two navy blue beads that you just picked. Pick two navy blue beads. Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch. And back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick two navy blue beads, pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick one black bead followed by one navy blue bead and you pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick one silver bead followed by one black bead Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick two silver beads. Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick two silver beads. Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick one black bead followed by one silver bead. And you pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick one white bead followed by one black bead. Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick two white beads.
pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick two white beads, pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you've just picked. Pick two white beads, pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you just picked. So we are done with our second row. Now you turn your work to begin the third row. So the third row you'll begin by picking four beads. So you pick one white bead, followed by one black bead, and followed by two white beads. So one white, one black, and two white. Pass the needle through the second loop of stitch. And back through the last two beads. Back through the first two beads. And finally back through the last two beads again. So pick two white beads. Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you've just picked. Pick one white bead followed by one black bead, one white followed by one black bead. Pass the needle, do the last, the two beads that you just picked. Now pick one black bead followed by one silver bead. And you pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick two silver beads. Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick two silver beads. Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick one black bead followed by one silver bead. Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick one navy blue bead, followed by one black bead. Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick 
two navy blue beads pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick two navy blue beads, pass the needle through the loop of stitch, and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick two navy blue beads. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch. And back through the two beads that you just picked. I highly recommend that you wax your thread to prevent entang entangling of the thread. I didn't wax mine and that's why I'm having a lot of problems. Now pick two black beads. Pass the needle through the two black beads and now we are done with our third row it's time for us to work on our next row so turn your work now pick four black beads no sorry three black beads followed by one navy blue bead so three black and one navy blue Pass the needle through the second loop of stitch and back through the two last beads, the last two beads. And back through the first two beads. Then back through the last two beads. Now pick two navy blue beads. Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch. And back through the two beads. Pick two navy blue beads. Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads. Pick one black bead followed by one navy blue bead. Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads. Pick one light blue, one light blue bead followed by one black bead. Pass the needle through the loop, loop of stitch. And back through the two beads. Pick one black bead followed by one silver bead. Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch. And back through the two beads.
Now pick one black bead followed by one silver bead. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the two beads. Pick one white bead followed by one black bead. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the two beads. Pick two white beads. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the beads, through the two beads. Pick one black bead followed by one white bead. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the beads, the two beads. Pick one navy blue bead followed by one black bead. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the two beads. So we are done with our row. Turn your work and uh, pick three navy blue beads and one black bead. Three navy blue and one black bead. Pass the needle through the second loop of stitch and back through the last two beads back through the first two beads and finally through the last two beads Pick one black bead followed by one white bead. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the two beads. Pick one light blue followed by one black bead. One light blue followed by one black bead. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the two beads. Pick two light blue beads. Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads. Pick two light blue beads. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the two beads.
pick two light blue beads, pass the needle through the next loop of stitch, and back through the two beads. Pick one light blue followed by one black bead. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the two beads. Pick one black bead followed by one navy blue bead. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the two beads. Pick one silver bead followed by one black bead. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the two beads. So please wax your thread. Don't be like me. Pick two silver beads. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the two beads. So now we are done with our row. It's time for to start our next row. So turn your work and uh, now let's begin by picking two silver beads followed by two black beads. So two silver beads and two black beads. Pass the needle through the second loop of stitch and back through the last two beads and through the first two beads. Finally, back through the last two beads. Pick two light blue beads. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the two beads that you just picked. Pick two light blue beads pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads pick two light blue beads pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the two beads. Pick two light blue beads. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the two beads. Now pick one black bead followed by one light blue bead. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the two beads. Pick one navy blue followed by one black bead.
pass the needle back through the two beads. Pick two navy blue beads. Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads. Pick two navy blue beads. Pass the needle through the next loop of stitch and back through the two beads. So we are done with our row. So turn your work to begin the next row. Now pick four navy blue beads. Four navy blue. Pass the needle through the second loop of stitch. And back through the last two beads. And through the first two beads. Then back through the last two beads. Okay. Now pick one black bead followed by one navy blue. One black followed by one navy blue. Pass the needle through the loop of stitch and back through the two beads. Pick one white followed by one black. Pick one black followed by one blue, one light blue, one black followed by one light blue. Pick two light blue beads. Pick two light blue beads, two light blue beads. Pick one black bead followed by one light blue, one black followed by one light blue. Pick one navy blue followed by one black bead. So we are done with our row. Time to work on our next row. So turn your work and uh, pick one navy blue, one black, one silver, and one black. So one navy blue, one black, one silver, 
and one black. So you repeat what you're doing uh, on every row by passing the needle through the second loop of stitch and back through the last two beads and through the first two beads and back through the last two beads. Now pick one black followed by one light blue. Pick one white followed by one black. One white, one black. Pick two white, two white beads. Pick two white beads. Pick one white bead followed by one black bead. Pick one black bead followed by one navy blue bead. So now we are done with our row, turn your work and uh, pick four white beads, pick four white beads. Pick two white beads. Pick two white beads. Pick one black followed by one white. One black and one white.
pick one silver followed by one black one silver bead and one black bead Now pick two silver beads. Now we are done with our row. Turn your work to begin the next row. Pick four silver beads. Pick one silver followed by one black. Pick one black followed by one white. Pick two white beads. Pick two white beads. So we are done with our row. Turn your work to begin the next row. Now pick four white beads. Pick four whites. Pick one white followed by one black. Pick one black followed by one silver. Pick Two silver.
So now we are done with our row. We are done with our row. Now turn your work to begin a new row. So we'll start by picking, picking one black, one light blue, one black, and finally one white. So one black, one light blue, one black, and one white. One black, one light blue, one black, and one white. Pick two white, pick two white beads. Pick two white beads. We are done with our row. Turn your work to begin a new row. Now you pick to turn your work to begin a new row. For this row, you'll pick three white beads and one black bead. So three white and one black. So always remember that uh, you're passing the needle through the second loop of stitch. So now you'll pick one black bead followed by one light blue. One black and one light blue. So we are done with our row. Now it's time for us to work on our last row. So for our last row, we're just picking four white beads. And we are done. So four white beads. We pass the needle through the loop of stitch. Back through the last two beads. Then back through the first two beads. Finally, back through the last two beads. So now you'll pass the needle through your work until you get to the bottom of the triangle. Uh, for us to start our to, to start working on our fringe. And always make sure that you're looking at the if, if you're working on a pattern like this, make sure that you start your fringe on the right on the correct side. For us, we will start working on the light blue side not the white side
So when you're done picking the beads for the fringe, uh, you pass the you you skip the last bead. Skip the last bead, and you pass the needle through all the other beads. So pass the needle through all the other beads until you get to the first row where you started. Just like that. Make sure that uh, the fringe is not too tight. Then you pass the needle through the two beads as shown. Now for us to start working on our second fringe. So you'll do this uh, on all the fringe, on all the other fringes. So you do the same thing for all the other fringes. 